Why is it important for tabletop role-playing games to be more accessible and include disabilities both in their mechanics and artwork? Well, that's what we're going to get into today. In recent years, there have been more games that feature disability representation and mechanics, from the combat wheelchair for 5e and other systems, to Fate's accessibility tools, to Pathfinder's assistive items. We're seeing more options to be able to play a wider variety of adventurers. So first, why does this matter? Look, representation matters. Having art and character options that reflect different aspects of identity means that those individuals who share that identity can see themselves in the game. When players can see themselves in the world and the characters of a game, they are much more likely to play that game and get really invested. Even if they aren't playing a character that has a disability or even the same disability, seeing an aspect of those themselves in the world matters. Diversity matters. We've seen this with other aspects of identity and having more diversity helps everyone as it opens up new stories to tell. You know, looking back, growing up, there was a significant lack of characters with disabilities in the media, and I think especially in gaming. The characters we did have were often, often either the villain of the story or their disability was used to basically evoke pity. There were very few positive examples of disabled characters or even just seeing kind of normal people who had disabilities in TV and movies. You know, as someone with a mental disability, dyslexia, I tried as hard as I could to hide my disability to avoid pity or being othered in school or even at work. And I think some of this gets down to representation. I did not have very many examples of characters with learning disabilities, and the few that I did were usually othered because of that disability. And over the years, I've learned how to adjust to a world that often isn't accommodating. I've even had moments where I found things my brain just happens to be better at because it works a little differently. But that's not to romanticize mental disability as some special ability, but rather the more we acknowledge the different ways that people experience our world and validate those experiences, the better the overall world is going to be. Because very few people are quote unquote normal. So when I see more actual play shows like Critical Role featuring characters, NPCs, and player characters with disabilities and not falling into the trope of using a disabled character as the villain, but having just everyday people who have some form of disability, this is a great thing to see. It's providing that representation and provides an example of what we can emulate in our own games. I want to take a moment to thank all of our patrons, especially Arvi. If you want to support our channel, you can head on over to our Patreon page and check out the perks of being a patron. So why should you include disabilities in your game? First of all, if you play with anyone with a disability, picking a system with mechanics for playing a disabled adventurer may be something that they are interested in. I would check with them because they may not. They may be excited to be able to play a character with their disability and be the hero, especially if society has painted them as a victim of their disability, which not cool. Or they may just choose to play a fully able-bodied individual, but knowing that those rules are accommodating might also remove the stigma that exists around that disability. You know, losing a limb used to be seen as a punishment, and we can still have blindness and deafness as temporary uh, conditions while acknowledging that people can adapt and continue their lives if those conditions were to become permanent. Gaming can also be a way to put yourself in someone else's shoes. While it's important to know that playing a character with a disability is not going to be the same as actually having a disability, and please be mindful of any tropes around that disability, it is a way to learn and em empathize through play. One easy thing you can do at your game, this is especially for you game masters, is avoid the disability as evil trope. Don't use disability to signal a character as eagle, evil, or if you have an evil character with a disability, don't tie the disability to their evilness. Have more regular characters that also are disabled. And, you know, have characters in authority and good characters with disabilities. Seeing more characters with disabilities, including mental disabilities and disorders, 
as normal characters will help to remove some of the stigma. One thing to add this to this is the disability should be a feature of the character, not a ploy to draw sympathy. And having more diversity in your game is going to open up more kinds of stories, more approaches to challenges. Maybe it's going on a quest to get a part for an assistive device. Maybe a blind character in your party can navigate a pitch dark tunnel a seeing character would struggle with. Maybe a deaf NPC can save the party from a siren. Those are just some of the surface level ideas that I've come up with, and I'm sure that you can come up with a lot better examples to use in your games. Another way we are seeing tabletop role-playing games become more accessible is through gaming aids. I've reviewed a bunch of different dyslexic character sheets, um, and you put links to them up here, and I've heard from many of you that these sheets can also be helpful for other neurodivergent individuals. Braille dice also allow blind players to join in the experience of playing and rolling their own dice at the table. And if you know of any other specific gaming aids, please let me know down in the comments below. So what do you think about disability and accessibility in tabletop gaming? What are you happy to see and where do you think there is still room for improvement? Let's chat about it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Roll for Initiative. Bye! Maybe a deaf NPC, not dead, maybe, or deaf, maybe a deaf, MP, deaf NPC.